Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel The Trading Game, the channel where you get all the information related to stock market and its news and also the financial education. Okay, so today we are looking into what of an idea AGR issues uh, which is going on since long. So we'll be looking into all the details of this. What is this uh, issue and uh, since how long it is going on and what might be its uh, future impact. So we'll be discussing on this uh, everything. Uh, it is nothing but uh, just a fight between Indian government and Vodafone idea it seems it is just a kind of cold war going on between uh, these two so we'll be looking all the details about this particular issue at a later point of time okay so uh, before that as usual uh, we'll be looking into today's market update so what happened in the market today so uh, if you are new to the channel please do subscribe the channel and uh, you can like the video if you like and also you can share it with your friends and family okay so with that uh, let's uh, start uh, let's uh, quickly look into today's update so what what all happened in the market so you can see here uh, uh, today nifty uh, closed at 9902 which is 214 points down at 2.12 percentage minus so you you saw that big fire fall in the market today uh, which was continuously going up for a while now but uh, it uh, it gave a big negative candle today so you can see here it opened almost kind of uh, flattish uh, with with around 20 points minus uh, uh, with that uh, it, it just tried uh, moving that 20 points so, uh, from there but uh, it was not able to sustain and uh, at the end uh, it almost closed that uh, day low which is uh, but one thing to be noted here is it closed at again a four digit number which is 9902 meaning it uh, closed below 10,000 Similarly, uh, we'll look into Bank Nifty. So, Bank Nifty closed at uh, 25.25, which is uh, 575 points minus, and uh, it is 2.72 uh, percentage uh, down. So, this is in comparison with uh, Nifty, it was a big uh, loser. And uh, you can see here, uh, opening was almost kind of uh, flattish here also. It was just a kind of uh, 16 points minus, but from there, uh, it tried to go a bit on the higher side, but uh, it didn't sustain. From there, uh, it closed uh, again at the almost a day's low point. Okay, so with that, uh, let's quickly look into the gainers and losers of the day. You can see here, uh, PVR gained almost 5% and Indusin Bank, which is continuously running since last uh, a uh, couple of uh, weeks uh, closed at 4.7 percent and uh, LIC housing a new entry to this uh, list uh, which closed at around 2 percent and uh, my entry which was uh, around 1 percent it closed at 9.18 and Hiromoto uh, which was yesterday a big loser today even in this following market uh, uh, it closed at 2309 which is a kind of 0.7 percentage which is not that a big number okay now well, they're coming to the loser side so the main loser was uh, Bharati Infra which closed at around 210.8 which is 9.4% uh, uh, is a huge fall and uh, after that uh, Zeal closed at around 7% uh, negative similarly Ujjuman and the SPI they closed almost 6% uh, negative and Eyeball Housing which was running uh, a lot in the last few days closed at 5.3% uh, okay so uh, with that uh, let's uh, quickly go into this uh, out of an idea whatever uh, we were discussing about that earlier so first uh, we will look into this agr so what it means is uh, i what of an idea not only what of an idea in fact all the telecom companies uh, have to pay a certain amount to the government uh, as AG, agr fees so now uh, in this case what of an idea has to give 53000 crore rupees to the government Okay, and uh, this uh, number, whatever that 53,000, this includes all the interest and penalties for non-payment of uh, some dues, especially that uh, statute, uh, statutory dues. And uh, the, the same case was in uh, Supreme Court uh, since long, since long in the sense since last year, uh, it is in uh, Supreme Court and the Supreme Court was uh, looking into this. So when, when I say this AGR issues, uh, AGR issues, it, it is nothing but uh, uh, it is the kind of uh, fight between uh, what a phone and government meaning uh, government is claiming that uh, they had to uh, whatever these telecom companies are uh, there they have to pay the government uh, this uh, this amount of money and uh, what of an idea went to supreme court uh, just to uh, get some relief on that okay so uh, the still the case is still going on so we will be uh, uh, looking into different uh, series of events what happened especially with this case so it was in October 2019, Supreme Court uh, bench comprising of three justices 
upheld the definition of AGR seeking uh, rupees 53,000 crore in AGR dues. So what it means is uh, Vodafone went to court, especially the Supreme Court, asking for the relief. Uh, uh, about this 53,000 crore rupees. So, but uh, uh, Supreme Court uh, is upheld this particular uh, definition of AGR, and they kind of uh, uh, they kind of uh, reiterated that uh, the company has to pay the, all the companies has to pay those uh, fees, whatever had been mentioned. And after this, in November 2019, uh, Kumar Mangalam Birla, uh, senior person of uh, Vodafone, as you might be knowing, Vodafone Idea. And executives of uh, Vodafone Idea met cabinet secretary to seek relief. So uh, they just wanted to close this off. So they met uh, the government cabinet secretary to seek some relief on this particular issue. But uh, it was not that successful. Okay. And uh, because of this, you in December 2019, Aditya Birla Group Chairman uh, said that Vodafone might be shut down uh, if uh, in case government won't provide relief. So this was a very, very big statement, uh, which was in uh, December 2019, because closing the company uh, as big as uh, idea doesn't like uh, look good. But uh, they said that uh, because of the problems, whatever they are facing, they they can, I mean, they were in a kind of, they were, they were not having any other go other than closing the company is what they mentioned. Okay, so with that, uh, in Jan 2020, Supreme Court dismisses a review plea from uh, telecom companies that sought relief on interest and other penalty charges. So what happened is all these telecom companies again went to Supreme Court uh, just to um, just to ask some more relief on the interest and penalty charges, whatever uh, they had uh, given earlier. So that means the charges were were, were too high, and uh, these these companies were asking for some relief in those numbers, as the numbers were very high. And uh, in February 2020, uh, in the Q3 results, uh, Vodafone. Um, uh, reported a loss of 6453 crore rupees. I mean, it, this is a huge one now compared to this one when the company is making 6000 odd uh, crore rupees loss. How can it pay like 53,000 crore additional, uh, even though when it is in not profit? So, this is a question uh, like everyone should ask. And um, in fact, we will be talking about this further later uh, whether if you want to invest, the, invest in this company or not. Okay. And uh, then comes in March 2020. Supreme Court said that, uh, uh, I mean, especially the uh, telecom companies that uh, it is not complying with orders and uh, dues on dues and penalties. So uh, earlier, Supreme Court said that they need to pay some amount uh, to the government. But uh, uh, in fact, uh, these telecom companies failed to do that. And uh, Supreme Court was not happy with that. They said that uh, they, they kind of, uh, they ordered again to these companies that uh, they are not complying the uh, Supreme Court's order and it was a kind of very uh, strict uh, order given this time and uh, in fact uh, the companies were able to do a partial payment of that within a few days of this particular order and after that in April 2020 uh, Vodafone group uh, which you might be knowing that idea is a company uh, generally what we are talking about but Vodafone is the company which bought in uh, sometime last year so now uh, what happened is Vodafone group infuses uh, some amount to this uh, idea which is 1530 crore rupees into idea okay so the next one is uh, just last week uh, a couple of weeks back the share uh, rally from almost like a uh, three rupees to uh, 12 12 and a half rupees uh, just on the news of over potential investment by Google. So there was a rumor in the market wherein uh, they said that Google will be investing uh, in this Vodafone group. So the, uh, the stock uh, rallied like anything and uh, from three rupees it almost rallied to 12 rupees in like a in few months time. Now coming to June 2020, which is like a today's date. So there was a hearing uh, today, but uh, the, it has been postponed till uh, June 18th. And that means the next week or uh, the hearing is going on, I mean, will be going on. So now uh, we'll be looking into uh, like uh, we will be just uh, looking into some details about this. So as you uh, are now aware that uh, it is in Supreme Court since long and uh, today was a hearing on the same case. So uh, what Supreme Court uh, said is uh, uh, it asked all the telecom companies to file affidavit in five days uh, regarding the roadmap of clearing the abode dues. So, so whatever that AGR dues are there, uh, it asked all the companies, telecom companies uh, to file the affidavit uh, regarding the same, how they will be clearing these charges. 
okay so now for that what of an idea today said that the dues are huge that are very huge and they can't file the affidavit in this very short period of time of like a, a three to five days so, so it is very short so they they asked some more time for that also the company mentioned so this is a very important point i just wanted to uh, notify you or just to highlight you wherein they said that the company is currently in a uh, in such a condition that they don't have money to even to pay the salaries of their employees and to meet their regular expenses so, so this is a very huge very huge or big sentence for the company like Vodafone wherein they say that uh, they can't they don't have money to pay the salaries and are uh, definitely with this particular sentence uh, the question which I asked earlier whether I'm ready to invest in this company as of now so my, strictly my answer is no to this one as of now I will not invest in this company so still something looks good to me okay so similarly like you can take your call talking to your uh, financial advisor if you really have uh, uh, any idea of investing in this company okay so with that uh, i hope that uh, you like the video and you got some information out of it uh, so if you are new to this channel please do subscribe the channel and you can share with your friends and family thank you so much for your time see you bye bye